Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number two in the Business Logic Vulnerabilities module titled High Level Logic Vulnerability. All right, let's get started. This lab doesn't adequately validate user input. You can exploit a logic flaw in its purchasing workflow to buy items for an unintended price. To solve the lab, buy a lightweight leather jacket. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. All right, so the target goal over here is to exploit a business logic flaw in order to buy this specific item for a price that is not listed in the application. And we're given credentials to log in as that user before we buy the item. Okay, let's access the lab. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already being recorded in my Burp proxy. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is click on my account and log in as the user that we were given. The password was Peter, hit login. Okay, looks like we have store credit of $100, just like with the previous lab. If we go to home, this is the item that we would like to purchase. And again, the cost of the item is $1,337. So we definitely can't afford it, which means that we need to find a vulnerability in the application that allows us to buy it for $100 or less. To do that, let's look at the requests that the application makes when we add the item to the cart and then try to purchase the item. So if we click Add to Cart, this is the post request that the application is making. Let's send that to Repeater. And then let's view our cart and then attempt to buy the item and send that request to Repeater as well. All right, so if we go to Repeater right over here, let's view the checkout request. So when you click on place order, it makes a request to slash cart slash checkout. And if we go down over here, it only takes a CSRF token. And so this is not the request that is going to be vulnerable because it doesn't take in client supplied input that could potentially change the price of the item. So my guess is the vulnerability is in the first request when we add an item to the cart. Now, if we go down over here, you could see you've got the product ID, um, you've got the redirect or REDIR, and then you've got the quantity of the item. We no longer have a price of the item over here in order to be able to um, change up the price. And so we're going to have to find another vulnerability that is different from lab number one. Now, if we hit send right over here, and we reload our application, you could see that we've got two items in the cart. Now, I'm wondering what happens if I add minus one. Does that mean it's going to remove an item from the cart? So let's hit send. Okay, this looks good. So it removed an item from the cart. What if I do minus two? Hit send and see if it allows me to have negative items in the cart. And it does. So that is interesting. The total of my item over here is now minus 1337, so minus 1337. In some applications that I've tested, if it accepts negative input, what ends up happening is that it sees that the application owes you $1,337, and so it adds to your store credit. So let's see if that's the case for this application. So let's say place order. Over here it says cart total price cannot be less than zero. So it knows that um, it shouldn't accept negative values. And so it gives you an error and doesn't allow you to perform that request. So we need to get a little bit creative over here. Let's add the leather jacket again to our application. So if we go one over here, hit send, and reload our cart. You could see over here, our cart has a leather jacket and again, it costs 1,337. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to another item in the application and purchase a negative value of that item so that I could decrease the price of my leather jacket. So let's find an item that costs about, let's say $100 so that the math is easier for me to do. So this item right over here, cost 95.37, so I'm gonna click on view details and I'm gonna add it to my cart. Go to proxy and send that request to repeater. 
and let's view our car right now. So you can see over here, I've added my item that costs $95.37. Now, if we look at that request over here, let's make that item minus 14. Hit send and reload our cart. So I'm adding negative 14 um, items of this quantity and here we go. Now because I added negative 14 and I already had an item in the cart that was there so it's negative 13 which means it's negative 13 times 95.37 and that gets reduced from the price of uh, the cart which is 1,337 and so we end up with a, do with a total of 97.19 which we can afford because it's less than the store credit. In fact, if we just add one more negative item, we should even decrease the price even more and it's still bigger than zero, and now we could purchase the item for $1.82. So let's place the order. And here we go. It says, congratulations, you solved the lab. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.